In this presentation, we're going to look at the Poisson distribution and, in particular, the dpos command. Now, the Poisson distribution expresses the probability of a certain number of occurrences per unit space. Now, this unit space thing is an important. There it is there. So a unit space is either a unit time period, for example, say some, a certain number of occurrences per hour, a unit length, certain number of occurrences per kilometer, a unit area, or a unit volume. A unit space can mean any one of those things. The Poisson distribution is characterized by the expected number of occurrences per unit space, and we denote this lambda, and in R it's called lambda. I'm going to call it simply the Poisson mean. Now, Suppose that on average, 10 customers arrive at a till every hour. So this is our Poisson uh, mean here is 10. I'm going to call that lambda equal to 10 for one hour. Uh, what is the probability of 12 customers in a one hour period? Well, we'll look at that first one there first. And what I'm going to do is go to R now. And to evaluate that, we use the dpos command. So I'm going to type that in, dpos 12, oops, 12 lambda equals 10. So the answer is 9.47%. I'll just, uh, to f uh, four decimal places, 90947, so 9.47%. What is the probability of six customers in a 30 minute period? Well, if we expect 10 customers per hour, we would expect five in a half hour period, in a 30 minute period. So the Poisson mean changes from, uh, from uh, 10 to five because the unit period is now one half of what it was previously. So here the Poisson mean is five, lambda equals five. Uh, we're going to use the same approach again, use dpos uh, to compute this probability. Okay, dpos. So 6 uh, is the value we're interested in, and the Poisson mean is 5 for half an hour. So the answer is 14.62%, 01462. So 14.62%. So there we have it there. So that is using the dpos command. Now, just to be clear, dpos is for when we are looking for the precise value for a precise, the preci uh, precise value we're looking for the probability of that precise number. So if for, if for some value k, dpos computes the probability of x equal to k. I'm just going to draw attention to that equal there, uh, equal sign there, when told the value from lambda. Uh, there's other commands called ppos that would have fulfill a different function. Um, just to read up a bit more on this, you could read up on the probability mass function and probability density function, uh, which is what the, deep, the dpos command is related to.